Hi friends, it's Joby here. Uh, this is just a quick video showcasing the Santia Spear. I, I got this thing today, my mate Junglist. He told me I should check it out. Uh, I did, and it's uh, it's bloody impressive, I'll tell you that. Um, so, a bit about the Santia Spear. You find it in the doors of Faris. I'm not going to show you where. This is purely a showcase of how freaking crazy powerful this weapon is. Um, currently, it's infused with mundane, so I've got an old mundane stone, infused it with that, and then uh, all my stats, my minimum stat, actually all of my stats except for strength, maybe dex, whichever one needs to be 22, uh, it's 22 and the rest of them are 20, so uh, one of them needs to be 22 to actually hold the freaking spear, uh, the rest of them. Uh, 20. So uh, as you can see, I've been invaded. So at the moment, I'm in the Bell Tower Guardian's Covenant, and uh, I am also running through the Belfry, trying to maximize my PV penis. <laughs> um, penis. Sorry. I'm just trying to get this guy to know where I am. So, um, you know, a warning shot across his bow. As always, wave to say hello. Hi, he waves back. What a legend. Not everyone does that. A lot of people just try to attack you. You're actually going to see a bunch of that. Um, yeah, so that's our opening salvo. You can see, even though I, I screwed up a little bit, I've already taken him down to half health. Uh, yeah, the, uh, the weapon itself, it starts out, you've got to break it. You might be able to see that I've got zero durability on the weapon. Uh, th that's because it's broken. It's actually a broken weapon at the moment. And what that... Sorry. I always throw around stones when I feel like someone's doing a, a good job. Um, the single, very good. That's a genuine, I think you've done well. More than one. And, um, I might be being sarcastic. But, uh, anyway. So, it starts out and, uh, it's broken. As you can see, I, it was obvious that I needed to get rid of that guy very quickly, because... See? Single stone. Just to let the, the dude know as he returns to his world, I thought he was very good. He's a very good opponent. This guy, Dudley, uh, a bit of a jerk, has decided to attack me without letting me heal up. You know, he doesn't have to let me heal up, but uh, we could have had a straight one-on-one -on -one jewel and I, I wouldn't have minded that. Dudley's main mistake here is that he's got a uh, a thrusting weapon and it just doesn't it doesn't work very well in um, in PvP. There's too much lag going on. Um, what he really wants is the backstab because he'll do huge damage but I'm wearing jesters so he's not actually going to get uh, much in the way of a backstab. I, I reject all critical hits with this freaking crazy costume. Anyway, so we dodge around each other. I tend to just, you know, stay out of the way, stick and move. That's the phrase I'm looking for. Stick and move, and now, you know, obviously I'm going to finish him off. That's happening. Um, he overcommitted with his stabbing. You know, it's um, the the slightly sarcastic wave at the end there. Um, it's it's always a bit of a shit show with with PvP because you never know where someone's going to be uh, leaping into the world from. You know, we get matched up with people from Europe quite a bit, so there can be quite a bit of lag. Uh, obviously, uh, yeah. So I've freaking aggro both of these two jerks which is annoying um, I gotta get rid of the predator before I do anything at all uh, and this freaking little guy keeps just hit me he just he's just it's like a mosquito just this little pestering pest I very nearly die here. Imagine dying after all of that, dying to a fucking one of those little guys. Ah, they annoy me. They're just their profile is so small. God. Anyway, so I enjoy the PvP of the uh, of the Belfry, though I, I'm not really all that interested in 
in these two versus one fights uh, that seem to go down quite a bit. Anyway, so because I'm wearing the ring, I'm now being dragged across to another man's world. And um, this one goes a bit quicker. Good old Krellix. Krellix is actually in for a really rough time. Uh, not from me. I, I've selected the wrong taunt like an idiot. I actually didn't notice that Screaky Snake was a dark spirit. I just thought he was another gray spirit. So I intended to just sort of let Krillix do his, his thing. He waved back so we could be cool. Tell him I think that's very good, as I do. And uh, and yeah, that was about it, right? I, I thought we'd be all good. And then suddenly I realized, hang on, that is a, that's a red invader. Poor old uh, Krillix has been teamed up against a red and a grey invader, which is just, it's just poor luck. So, I decided to give him a bit of a hand. And if uh, Krellix could just stay away for a little bit. Oh dear. But, uh, yes. Screaky Snake got poisoned and uh, died to tick damage from the poison. So at least I, I avenged you, Krellix. I did my best. Anyway, now that I'm back in my own world, it's reset. As far as I can tell, you never get more than two invaders. But if you leave the your your world zone and come back to it, which is the case in what I've done here. Fuck these little guys. Um, if you do that, then yeah, what happens is it resets and you can be invaded again. And I am going to be invaded again. And you can you can't you can't tell now because it's after the fact. But the way my heart dropped when I saw the grey in that doorway, ah, oh, I was so gutted. Anyway, Super Jesus I thought Super Jesus would be cool. He was not. Look at that. Opens with that dick move. What an ass. And uh, so, now I've got to get rid of Super Jesus. And he's got this freaking shield. Oh, jeez. And I don't have any... Because it's mundane infused, it's only doing physical damage. And so I'm kind of... I'm in a bad way. Super, da uh, Super Jesus gives me a lot of opportunity. Backs off. I should have gone in for the kill here. I should have gone in and just attacked. I shouldn't have let him get his shield back out. But there's just so much you don't know. There's too much left to chance. And now, um... I'm going to go with Thor. Because I assume Ho is the word that they've blocked out there. But, um... Now Thor's in it. And he's got just no respect. And he's also lagging a fair amount. Which makes things complicated. So my game plan is to work him down quickly, get the hell away, heal up. There's, there's no more... If they're going to use their advantage, which is uh, two on one, then I'm going to use my advantage, which is Estus Flasks. Poor old Super Jesus takes a step too far off. And, uh, yeah, huge mistake. Good old Thor fucks up as well and yes I am going to taunt him for that that was despicable the way he attacked me while I was on that ladder I was just trying to get a little bit of separation anyway I have no idea what my game plan was here I was trying to work out where Super Jesus was there he is and now I can tell Super Jesus is just going to shoot lightning at me so I'm giving the old red invader treatment and I'm going to poison him to death. Like, the, the shield's good, dude, but it doesn't stop the poison damage. And once it starts, like, I don't even need to be there anymore. I can just walk away. I don't. I chase him, but... I do like that he attempted a gesture. That was admirable. Anyway, I like to, I like to put a lot of that... On the uh, on the Santius spear, I think it did a lot of the hard work in that encounter. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching my Dark Souls 2 video. Uh, I'll catch you next time, maybe in Day Z or hell, maybe some more Dark Souls. See you later.